Morning, Year 10. So it's now Thursday. Um, I am still recording this lesson on Tuesday. Um, so I haven't got any more information for you about the test. Hopefully I'll have more information for you about that in the lesson tomorrow, um, which I'm not going to record um, today. Uh, so, of course, we didn't do the test yesterday. We are thinking of doing the test um, at some point in the future, which will be um, something that you, of course, need to do at home and upload in a very limited time frame. Um, right, so I want to continue with building what we were doing yesterday. So here's the starter task. I've uploaded it um, separately. Um, so you could do this on the sheet if you've got a printer, or if not, you could do it at the back of your blue book. Pause the video, have a go. Make sure you're not just watching me do stuff. You need to be doing it yourself. So pause now. Let's have a go. Okay, so I'm thinking that um, to calculate the perimeter of the rectangle, um, we would need to add up all the sides. So that side's obviously 2x plus 3, and that side is 3x. And so the P for perimeter is 2, 4, uh, 7, 10, is 10x plus 6. The problem is, is that I don't know what x is but I do know that the area is six meters squared. So I know that if I get these sides and I times them together, I get six. Um, and this equation will enable me to find X that I'll be able to use up here in the perimeter. So if I expand these brackets, six X squared plus nine X equals six, I've got a quadratic. And so of course I'll make it equal to zero and I always want to make it as simple as possible. So in this case, I can divide through by three. Like that. Um, and I could try and um, complete the square like I did yesterday, but I didn't talk about how to um, solve equations. So I might try just to do PSF instead because I'm familiar with PSF. So this product is minus four, the sum is three, so four and minus one works out there. So I've got two x squared plus four x minus one x minus two equals naught, split in half. Same bracket over here, of course, minus one. Now that gives me two different values for x. I'll either get x is minus 2 from this bracket, or I'll get x equals a half from this bracket. Now, because I can see that this length is 3x, there's no way that x can be minus 2, because it can't be of length minus 6. So it must be true that x is equal to a half. And I can now use that in my perimeter up here. I've got 10 lots of x, which I know is a half, plus 6. 10 lots of a half is, of course, 5. 5 plus 6 is 11 meters in this case, good. So that is um, a good starter. It's an application of a quadratic equation. Let's get back to what we'll be doing last time about completing the square. So we're working in rough at the moment. Um, have a go at this from yesterday, see if you can remember how we did it. So what we did was we started by creating that square. Uh, we popped an X in there and we halved this number to get minus 30. And then we said on the end, we're always gonna take away whatever that number there is squared and 30 squared is 900. And so that's the answer. So you can see if you got that right. So we're gonna try a couple of other ones. Um, I'm gonna start putting the numbers on the end. And I did this last time. So I'm gonna do this one and then we're gonna start working together. So my initial focus is on the bit at the beginning, x squared minus 12x. And that will be, of course, x minus 6, where minus 6 is half of minus 12. And we'll always be taking away whatever that number is, squared. I've forgotten to pop the squared there, of course, so I do need the square. So the, the, the clue's in the name, completing the square. But I've also got minus 1. I'm going to just put that on the end. So it's a two-step process because then I can combine those numbers to get minus 37. Now it does get harder, of course, um, so work with me. Right, you have a go at this one. 
Um, do have a go before you watch me do it because it's the engagement that's going to help us to learn this. So starting with the bit at the beginning, x plus 1 squared and then take away the 1 and then introduce the plus 17 on the end. That will simplify to plus 16. Okay, next one. Uh, right, so what I'd like to be doing now, please, is putting a title at the front of your book, completing the square, please. Um, of course, you'll be, um, let's keep the presentation. We may be at home, but there's no reason for us to let go of our uh, presentation and uh, all the things that we are represent, how we feel about our work. Um, date, underline. Uh, right, so pause it here, have a go at these three questions. The last one is red because it's difficult. Okay, so I'm going to start with number one, obviously. So I've got the x minus 3 squared at the beginning, minus the 9. Then I've got plus 3 on the end. So that simplifies to just minus 6. Number 2 is a bit harder because I've got a fraction. So I've got x plus 3 over 2 squared. And so I'll have to take away minus nine over four. Notice how that's a, it doesn't matter whether that's a plus or a minus, you always minus after the bracket. It's always minus to start with. Then we've got minus eight. Now it's likely to be non-calculator. So I'd like to persist with this without using a calculator. I'm gonna just update that now to minus nine over four. And I'm gonna replace that eight with minus 32 over four, because it's the same thing. And then of course I can write it out. Uh, minus 41 over four. Now, then I come to number three. Number three is more difficult. I'm gonna just rewrite it in the right order. Minus x squared plus four x minus five. Now, I'm gonna do doing more of this um, a little bit later in the lesson. Um, now, you can't complete the square until you've got x squared at the front. You can't have 2x squared, you can't have 3x squared, and you also can't have minus x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to factorise that minus out of some of the terms. So, work with me. A minus is, of course, just minus 1. I'm not going to factorise the, the minus 5, I'm going to just leave it on the end. So if I factorise minus 1 out of those terms, I will get x squared minus 4x. I haven't completed the square yet, I've just pulled the minus 1 out. And what I can now do is I can actually complete the square on the bit in the middle. So let me do that. I've got the minus 1, I've got the minus 5. I'm going to complete the square here, which will be x minus 2 squared minus 4. Then I'm going to start bringing it together. I'm going to expand these brackets by minus 1. So I've got minus 1 times that bracket, which is minus x minus 2 squared. I've got minus 1 times minus 4, which of course is plus 4. But then I've just got this minus 5 not in the brackets on the end. So all together, if I write those together, I've got x minus x minus 2 squared minus 1, which is the answer. Good. Right, we're going to write some notes about that, um, which are here. So we need to turn, please, to our orange book. Um, at the front, write the title, Completing the Square. We've got the date, the 7th of January, 21. Um, we should be keeping our presentation. Let's underline the date. And you'll need to copy that out, please, um, into your notes. And then I'm going to do the example. So you can pause it for a minute and copy out. Right. So the process, of course, is, let me get this different colour pen out, is to start with the x squared minus 2x, x minus 1 squared minus 1, and then put the minus 7 on the end which in this case will give us x minus 1 squared minus 8. Now, in this case, I'm looking at this, at how I've been given it here. This tells me that p is minus 1 and q is minus 8. This may say plus q. 
It's just that the Q itself is a negative number, and that's fine. So once you've got that down, if you haven't, of course, you can pause it. I'd like you to, uh, I've just written it out there, turn to these questions here and then do these. These are just nine short questions. They won't take you very long. It's not the end of the lesson. Uh, do those questions at the front of your blue book, please. And then come back to the video because um, it's not finished there. There is a little bit more to it. Uh, good. Right. So we're going to leave that for a minute. I want to focus on some of these slightly harder questions um, that I mentioned with the negative. We won't be able to um, complete the square on this as it stands because it's got a 2x squared and that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise that 2 out like I did earlier with the minus 1, but not from the 8. I'm just going to leave the plus 8 on the end. So inside the brackets, I've got x squared minus 6x. I haven't started completing the square yet. I'm going to do that next. I'm going to complete the square on that bit in the middle next. So I've still got this 2, still got this plus 8. I'm going to rewrite that x, <clears throat> x squared minus 6x to be x minus 3 squared minus 9. Then I'm going to expand. So I've got two lots of that bracket. I've got minus 18. And I've got plus 8, which has just been sitting on the end the whole time. And of course, minus 18 plus 8 is minus 10. And so there's my answer there. Right, so with that in mind, you have a go at this one. This is a bit like the one I did earlier. It's got a negative. I'd start, if I were you, by reordering. Have a go. Come back and check with the video. So, as I said, I'm going to start by reordering. I've got the minus x squared, I've got the plus 12x, I've got the plus 8. So I'm going to start by factorising out that minus 1, and leaving that plus 8 on the end. And that will give me x squared minus 12x. Then on the next step, I'm going to complete the square. Then expand the brackets. Look at that double negative, plus 36. So in the end, plus 44. Good. Uh, right, and then the last bit of the lesson that I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do these three questions at the front of your blue book. All of it will need to be evidenced, of course, as I've said and as I said yesterday. Okay. Um, make sure you're doing them and then checking them. Don't copy them off me doing the, uh, on here. You won't learn anything by just copying down. You need to do it and then come back and check it and make corrections if needed. Okay, so number one, I'm going to factorise that two. I'm going to leave the plus five. I'm going to complete the square on the second step. I'm going to expand the brackets. Don't forget the minus 4 becomes minus 8. And I'm going to collect the terms. Good. There we go. Number 1. Number 2. Factorise out the 3. Don't worry about the minus 2, just leave that. That's x squared minus 5x. Complete the square on the second step. Keep it as a fraction. Expand the brackets. When you multiply a fraction, of course, it's you're really times it by 3 over 1. So you just times the top. And then I have got minus 2 on the end. I'm going to just write that minus 2 as minus 8 over 4. It's the same thing, but it will allow me to combine those fractions really conveniently. And I know that's going to be minus 83 over 4, and I didn't need to use a calculator throughout. Number 3, of course, touch harder. I'm going to reorder it so it's in the right order. And I'll need to factorise out that minus 2 there. Complete the square on the second stage.
expand the bracket, the square bracket, minus two, minus one, of course, that'd be plus two. There we go. Three answers. Did you get them right? If not, hopefully you learned something about it. Of course, I will be running the drop in, start of every lesson. Another one tomorrow, period one, 15 minutes at the start of the lesson. Lovely. Thanks very much.